Hi Capricorn, I hope you're doing well. So I'm going to be pulling cards for you to see what's coming in for the month of February. Uh, for right now, right? To see what's coming in. Probably in love. <laughs> That's what my readings are about. If you want a private reading, you can move over to my website. You can move over to the website. That makes no sense. Sorry, but here we go. Messages are coming in already. So what is coming in? Um, Capricorn the high priestess is the first card i really feel that you are working with your energies to try to make something happen uh, you may be setting sending subliminal messages to someone or literally using the law of um, affirmations and attraction um, i do see you calling someone back to you plain and simple okay caps and oh my gosh we can't make this up if this person is in, a, in another situation, you're calling them to leave that situation, to fully pack up and leave and come to you. And you're actually calling it in now. Like you want this now. You feel very sure of yourself. You're very sure of this situation. You feel it's very good, lucky, passionate, fulfilling, happy, and you want it now. Um, do you know this person? We don't really know yet. Ace of Wands. This could be someone new that you're calling in. You could be calling in someone that is your perfect match, that's stable, that's coming in strong, that has a lot of power with that horse there, right? That has their coins in order. At least their, their situation is in order. They're ripe, ready for the picking, juicy. Like I'm getting all these beautiful energies with the cherries there. Uh, who knows? You want to, yeah, who knows? Capricorn. <laughs> what's going on for Capricorn so we have the king of cups you want love caps I'm getting you are looking possibly for um, a lover who you can maybe procreate with maybe make babies with or fulfill some sort of greater wishes here you want to nourish someone you want to feed them and take care of them I still don't know if you know this person but I do see the energy here of the Empress. Um, I just want to flip this card over. Uh, the Empress, and she's pregnant. This, uh, I'm not going to get jump. I don't know if you know this person, but this could be someone you know. Um, because you may have already planted a seed. Hmm. Oh, my gosh. So Capricorn, what is going on here? We have the Page of Swords. You could be watching this person. Um, this could be someone you know or don't know well, but know enough that you want to go and get them and scoop them off of their feet. Um, you could, I think you do know this person in one way or another. You may not have dated them, but you may be watching them. So you must know them if you're watching them, no? So you're waiting for the right opportunity, and what I'm getting is kind of the right opportunity to um, to work your magic. So you feel you have some magic to you too, and I do feel that the person you're interested in is quite magical, but you are waiting for the right opportunity. Uh, I'm not sure when that could be, but I mean, I do have the, here we have Easter coming up, but before Easter, I'm not sure what this animal is. Um, so it could be between now and Easter, you're waiting for an opportunity to go and uh, contact this person. Look, we have the Six of Cups showing up again. And now, of course, we have the Judgment card. So maybe to reach out to this person, maybe you're waiting for a certain amount of time um, in order to not feel like you may be judged if you reach out to this person. Maybe this person is going through a separation and you want to wait for you know, for things to actually fully be over before you make a move, you really care about this person. Look at, we have the devil. So there really could be um, interference here or something that this person is tied to. And that's why you're waiting for the exact right timing, Capricorn, right? That can also be you preparing for this new beginning with the Empress at the bottom, because that is your energy. Um, so you could be preparing to trap this person, not in a bad way, but there's something here about you working your magic. You're very skilled at getting what you want. And here you're setting a booby trap. Um, so yeah, you really may be wanting to 
get this person and have a, a new beginning or impregnate them. I said that, right? Because you wanted to, to start a family or something, Caps. So what's this card flipping over here? We have the Two of Pentacles, and I'm hearing the song. I'm hearing like a little bit of this, a little bit of that, but I don't know if there's a song. It's like one, two, three, four, get something out the door. Something like that. I think it's like a shaggy song or something. So I don't even know what it's about. <laughs> a little bit of Monica in my life, a little bit of something, da-da-da. Uh, a little bit of Rita. So I don't know, like, <laughs> I don't know what you're doing with that. Let's see. Let's see if we get a message for what you're doing with that. I think you're just thinking of the exact right way with the King of Swords energy um, to present your offer and to do it so that there is a successful uh, outcome here. You really love this person is what I get. And I feel that you want to make sure that you do things right this time around. I do feel that you do know this person. Yeah, I do. You definitely know this person. We have the Ace of Cups here on top of the Page of Cups. And I didn't even see it, but we have the Four of Wands there. So this is someone you're going back to to finally offer love and by the looks of it you want to work on this something has ended or you want to like have a new beginning and work on this with this person you know what i mean it's already ended by the looks of it so now you want to go in and be like hey i love you i want to have a new beginning with you so let's look into what happened so then i have something to pull on the extended what happened Okay, five of cups. And what else happened? What happened here? Tell us more about that. That's definitely about some regrets. The two of swords coming out kind of weird. Okay, we got a couple of cards here. Let me see. I didn't notice this one. So what happened is there was another situation going on or something that really had to be cleared up and buried. It may be like past beliefs or past emotions or past heartache, um, but it was something this person was truly carrying around and they had to really let it go. And it's interesting because this card's pretty much in reverse and you see the ax, which is the devil, not the devil, um, the, the death card's, instrument is going towards this person when you have it like that like fully so there really was something that had to be ended and i see that happening and it's probably already happened um as well energetically right so we'll look into that and they extended what was happening that ended and also how this person feels about you even though it's very clear you're like their true love where they want this to go with you okay Thank you so much, Capricorns. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know by liking the video. That's the best way. I know it sounds bizarre, but it's so true. Also, if you want to know the deck I use, the link will be below. And um, all my info is below, including the Patreon, where the extended will be if you're interested to join us. And that's it. Bye for now.